I'm Mark Vins, and I'm about to take a sting from the most aggressive ant on the planet. Ah! This nest here in front of me is home to the Australian bulldog ant that can both bite and sting, and I'm about to find out just how much damage it can do. I'm going to attempt to use this little stick to try to get a bulldog ant for our sting test. All right, got our forceps, small container. Now we just need the bulldog ant itself. I'm going to lightly disturb the entryway. Oh, here we go, got them already. That makes me nervous. The ants are starting to swarm. You see how big they are? This is like a volcano of ants. Oh, gosh, it almost got me. They're getting on me. All right, I'm gonna have to get our ant fast. Here we go. I got it. Yes. Oh, man. Oh. There we go, we've got one. That is a really good size bulldog ant. Starting to swarm a little too much to hang out here. Let's go reposition away from the nest so we can get a closer look at one of the scariest ants in the world. Australians fear these massive ants because they attack in swarms and without warning. If you accidentally disturb them, you can be covered in just a matter of seconds. Bulldog ants can be found all over Australia and often build nests in people's yards and local parks, which is exactly where we discovered these ants. This particular species is one of the largest, growing to over one inch in length. And of course, for this sting test, we wanted the big dogs, so we could compare how they rank against the legendary bullet ants of South and Central America. Now it's time to find out which is worse. <sighs> All right, guys, it is officially go time with the bulldog ant. Look at the size of this insect. Size-wise, I would definitely say it gives the bullet ant a run for its money, but appearance? This ant is second to none when it comes to intimidation factor. But before I test the might of this insect, let's get it out of the container and take an even closer look at those jaws and its stinger. All right, here we go. Oh, it's already jumping out. I wanna be very careful right now. And they are so aggressive. Look at that, it's already biting on the forceps. I'm just gonna try my best to get a good grip. And I'm getting nervous, gosh, hang on. All right, I gotta get it on the ground. Here we go. Unlike other ants, they don't really react to scents and pheromones, they react to sight. So anytime I try to grab it with the forceps, it sees that I'm coming. There we go. Okay, perfect hold. There it is. No animal has been requested for a sting test more than the bulldog ant in the history of Brave Wilderness. And now I can see why. Wow, I have never seen a more terrifying looking ant in my entire life. Let's start at the top. Look at the size of those mandibles. They are like serrated shears attached to these bulbous eyes, almost like a vice grip, just ready to snap and pinch on to anything it can touch. Look at the eyes of the ant. You can really see how much it reacts by using its sight. Look how it turns its head to the different ways that I position my finger around it. And then, of course, before we get to the stinger, I just have to say, look at the size of those legs because they are visually stimulated. They use their extremely long legs to extend quickly and flick themselves onto any would-be predator, earning them the name jumping jacks. And then of course, we can see the stinger flying already from the abdomen. Like other stinging insects, only the females can sting. This is actually a century or a soldier ant tasked with guarding the front of the nest. And you saw with just the slightest disruption, a fleet of soldiers came flying out of the nest ready for attack. They got all over my boots and nearly took a sting right away, but we saved the sting for this moment in the video. The sting of this ant is said to be one of the most painful experiences that you can get from any animal here on the continent of Australia. Some even argue in the world. The biggest difference between bullet and bulldog ant stings are the toxins they use. Bullet ants use a Panera toxin, which is slow building and can last for days, where bulldog ants use formic acid that causes instant pain. And when these ants swarm and cover people by the dozens, they have the ability to take down a fully grown adult. Holy cow, she's looking at me. Oh my gosh, look at that stinger go. I have a feeling this is going to hurt. I'm Mark Vins and I'm about to enter the sting zone with one of the most terrifying ants on the planet, the Australian Bulldog Ant. On three, one, two, three. Ah, yeah, ah, oh, 
my car. Did you see the stinger going in? Ah! Yeah! That's a good sting. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Oh! Ah, it's really got a stinger in me. Ah, look at it. Stinger's in. Ah! Ah! Back in the jar. Oh, that hurts. All right. Ah. Oh my gosh. Woo. Oh. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That burns. That is a super, super intense sting. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. Let me compose myself. Oh. Oh man. That was like instant fire underneath my skin. So much more like potent than the bullet ant. But I can tell you this, the bite was really nothing. Didn't really get a good grip on with those jaws, but it certainly got its stinger stuck in my arm and it getting a little dry now. Hang on, my adrenaline's kicking in. You okay, Mark? Yeah, I'm all right, I think. Uh, all right, geez, it's all so hot out all of a sudden. All right, I think I'm good to continue on. All right, oh, you bulldog. Oh, all right, see that stinger sight? Got a little bit of a acute swelling, maybe some residual bumps, and it definitely burns. I would say the initial onset of the sting, it was like a lightning bolt, way more intense than a bullet ant. But, and I can tell you it's already starting to subside a bit. But, wow, that is a rip shot of pain. Man. <clears throat> really getting dry mouth, guys. The, uh... Is your EpiPen in your backpack? It, it is, I've got my EpiPen, don't worry. Yeah, I don't, I don't need it yet, but got to monitor my, make sure my tongue's not swelling up or anything. But holy cow, that sting is like a hammer. It's like somebody literally just took a hammer and went wham, instantaneous pain. Not even a small delay. As soon as the stinger touched my skin, boom, it was on. Oh, I hope you enjoyed that one because I don't think I want to go arm to stinger again with that intimidating little ant. Now I am not out of the woods by any means. I'm going to continue to monitor this sting over the next two days. I can tell you this, a single sting from a bulldog ant so far does not compete with the bullet ant. Unlike the bullet ant that just started to build and build and build, I'm starting to really get past that initial wave of pain. And now I'm just really more dealing with the, uh, the after effects of adrenaline, starting to get that like wheezy stomach, cold sweat, and just simple nausea that I usually get after taking a sting. But a swarm of bulldog ants, I would estimate could take even the most pain tolerant person to their knees. All right, I think I'm gonna need some ice. Ugh. Sure enough, things got a lot worse. Just hours later, the redness and inflammation flared up and were joined by an intense itching that lasted for several days. Compared to other stings I've taken, this one was a sleeper that turned into a monster. Bulldog ant stings are known for their instant pain, so I was shocked when I was hit with these delayed reactions. While I did not experience the 24 hours of deep bone break pain that the bullet ant gave me. Ah! Oh, oh, that hurts. Oh, that is searing pain. This was far from an ordinary walk in the park. In fact, as of the editing of this video, my arm is still discolored and healing. If I were to have been swarmed and stung like the stick in the beginning of the video, it would have been a very bad situation. But now I know exactly why Australians go so far out of their way to avoid the jumping tear that is the bulldog ant. All that you can see here behind me in this clearing 
is a giant nest of leafcutter ants. There are hundreds of entry and exit holes all over this mound. Below the surface here is a catacomb of maze-like pathways that are home to this leafcutter ant colony. Now this colony will be made up of different size ants. Some of them are small workers. And then of course at the other end of the spectrum are large soldier ants. Those are the ones we are after because today we are officially going to rank the leafcutter ant on the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index, the BSI. The BSI is our official ranking index for all insect and arachnid bites and stings. The rankings are made by testing three factors, intimidation, pain, and aftermath, all of which are combined for a total score you will find out at the end of this video. I have been bitten by these ants before, and I can tell you that I have yet to encounter another insect of this size with this powerful of a bite. Ah! This one could rack up a heck of a score. But before we actually get bitten, we have to find a soldier ant. You can see here, look at this. There's a lot of leaf scraps that have been dropped by these ants. They're literally going out into the jungle, cutting the leaves, harvesting them, and then bringing them back here where they will grow a fungus that makes their food. But that is not the job of the soldier ant. The soldier ant has one job, defend the nest at all costs. And that's why they have the biggest and strongest jaws. Now, in order to find a soldier ant, all we have to do is make a little bit of disruption or vibration near the openings. It's almost like knocking on the door. Anybody home? We're looking for someone to give me a chomp and they will defend this nest with their lives. There's pretty much no stopping the will of a soldier leafcutter ant. So I'm just gonna go around here, agitate the ground. This looks like a good hole. And with enough tries, we should see some of these soldiers show themselves in defense of the colony. Oh, right there. Get your cameras right there, guys. Look at that. Huge. Wow. That hole just exploded with soldier leafcutter ants. Look at that. Okay, it's time to get some. You guys ready? There's no good way to do this. You just gotta get in and grab the ants. Here we go. Okay. Oh, they're already on my boots. Oh, they're swarming. They're swarming. They're all over me already. These ants are crazy how fast and elusive they can be. All right, I'm gonna have to hit the ground some more. Get some more big ones out. Come on, boys. Let's go. Got one. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh, it's a beast. I got two. Got two so far. Here we go. Here's a big boy. Oh, that one's huge. Ah, he's biting me. Oh, he's got me. Ah, ah. Oh, no, not yet, not yet. Ah. Mm, I already got nailed. All right, come on. All right, we got, we got three so far. Three so far. All right, let me, uh, oh, there's a big one. There's a big one. Oh, even the little ones bite. Okay, all right, I've got four, four ants. One more. Let's, let's try to get out some more bigger ones. Here we go. Come on, where are you? Oh man, they are all over my boots. Look at this, look at this, get a shot of that. They are just attacking me. Here, let's get away from this ant. Wow, guys, we're getting swarmed. We are getting swarmed. Holy crap. Okay, okay. Let me, let's, oh man, they are so strong. They're hard to get off your boots. Look at that one. Get out of here. Okay. They're all over my shoelaces. These are all over my boot laces. Okay, guys, check your pants. Oh, you got one on your shoe. Oh, 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 geez. Ow! Mmm, yeah. Just got nipped. A little precursor to what's coming next. Uh, and in case you're wondering, yes, these ants are absolutely capable of breaking skin and drawing blood. Ah, he's got me! Ah, that one's already got me. Ah, no, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Ah. Ooh, all right. Dang. Mm. We gotta get out of here. They're all over the boots. All right, well. Ah, all right. Hang on. 
All right, that's five. That's the fifth one. That one nailed me. Dang, that got me good. Mm. Oh, man, on oh my gosh, all right, guys. We're getting swarmed. We gotta get out of here. All right, let's go. Mm. Man, I'm bleeding. All right. Oh my gosh. Whoo! That always gets your heart racing, trying to catch these soldiers. Look how big they are. Those are some seriously, seriously aggressive ants. When they storm out of their nest, there's only one mission, attack. Ah, I'm just getting nailed on the ear. I just got hit on the ear. Ah! Whew. Gosh, you can never catch soldier ants like these without taking a few bites in the process. But, oh, you got one on your boots right there. Right on right your boot right there. Man, those leaf cutter ants, these soldiers barnstormed out of that entry point and they meant only one thing, inflict as much pain as possible on all these intruders. And they sure got us a few times. But in the end, we got five really good size soldier ants. And one of these will officially be the ant that I let bite me so we can rank the jaws of the Costa Rican rainforest for the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. Let's go set up our bite table. No joke, I've literally found these ants chomped onto my clothing months after our trips to Costa Rica. They make it all the way back on the airplane and through the washing machine because once they bite, they don't let go. All right, bite table set. We have our soldier ants. We've got a set of entomology forceps. Before we get into this, I'm going to need to tape up my finger because that ant back there annihilated me. His finger keeps just bleeding all over me. We've got ourselves five soldier ants that we are going to try to pick the biggest one to be the official ambassador for the bite sting index of the leafcutter ant. What do you guys think? I think maybe this one? Oh, there's a big one. I think right here in the front? Yeah, I think that's the one. Ah, man, the other ones are great. There it is, there it is, there's the one. That's the one. Oh, man. All right, there we have our end. Get a better grip on it. Scraping the table. There. Look at the size of the jaws of that ant. These ants do not sting, they only bite. Some ants both bite and sting. The leafcutter ant is just a bite, but I could tell you no other ant I have ever encountered in the entire world after 10 years of traveling, making content for Brave Wilderness, have I encountered any ant that can bite nearly with the strength of the leafcutter ant. I mean, there's not even a close second. And the reason for that is look at the size of the head of that ant. And not only is the bite strong, the bite is also sharp. They are like a set of busher knives shearing together to chop away and anything they can grab onto. And as for intimidation factor, I would have to say for ants, this intimidation is very high. This ant is gonna get a very good score right out of the gate. I gotta go through it again. Gosh, dang it, I am not looking forward to this. I know exactly what I'm in for. Ah, this is gonna, this is gonna suck. <laughs> this is gonna suck really bad. Okay, yeah, and get this. When these ants bite, you either have to pry them off or just wait until they let go. So this isn't like a one chomp and then we're done. I'm gonna leave the ant on to gnaw away until it walks off. Cause if not, I'm gonna have to pry it off and that could do even more damage. In fact, indigenous cultures used to use these insects as sutures where they would take the ants, let them bite and then rip the head off. Because once the ant is locked down, it has to choose to release. If it can't choose to release, it stays on there. So yeah, we're just gonna let the ant do its thing and chop away until it feels like it's done the damage it can do. And I have a feeling it's gonna be pretty serious damage. All right, you guys ready? Like I've done enough talking. I wanna get this over with. It's time to put the soldier leaf cutter ant on the bite sting index. On three, ready? I'm gonna put it right there. One, 
Oh man, I can, I can sense it just wants to chop away. It wants to gnaw onto me. It's gonna slice through. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. All right, hold on. I dropped it. All right, let me get it back, let me get it back. Don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Don't get bit yet. I know. I'm mean, getting lightheaded a little bit because I know it's coming my way. You guys are wondering if I'm getting used to this by now. Yeah, I know what it's like to get bit and stung by a lot of stuff, but every single time I do this, there's like a wave of anxiety and adrenaline, and I'm just, I'm feeling the nerves, and I'm about to feel the chomp. Here we go, on three. One, two, and three. All right, it's not good. Man, I'm getting lightheaded. Hang on, hang on a second. Oh. Okay, Mark? Whoa. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. All right, I got this. It's on three. One, two, three. Ah, yeah, he's got me. Ah. Yeah, I just popped through. It feels like it's cutting my finger off. Ah. 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 In case you're wondering if I was faking that at all, I probably have to blur that out because that is a lot of blood. I'd say that was a good test. I don't know how much better of a test that we can do here. I'm gonna clean off our hand here because he's covered in blood. Hang on a second. Look at that. Look at that. There's another demonstration of strength, like we need another one, but this ant is so powerful. Get off there, buddy. Well, I'd say we have ourselves a pretty good official bite test with the leaf cutter ant. Man, I hope that's the last time I have to do that. Tell me in the comments what else you want to see on the BSI. But before we go, let's give the leaf cutter ant an official score. For intimidation, the speed at which these ants move and the numbers by which they swarm, and just the general sheer size of their razor sharp jaws are as impressive as they are terrifying. So I give the leaf cutter ant a 7.5 out of 10 for intimidation, which is big for an ant. And on that note, I have to acknowledge that we've received some feedback that intimidation as part of the index is too subjective and that we shouldn't weigh it in as much as the other factors. Guys, I have to completely disagree with that because I can tell you, once you see what's biting you, or in my case, what's about to bite you, your emotions are triggered and it absolutely affects the pain you're about to experience. So yes, size matters and so does intimidation. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay, now back to the score. For pain, well, I have yet to react to any test as much as I have the leaf cutter in. So for immediate pain, I have to give it a 9.5 out of 10. And yes, that score surprises even me to say it out loud. But I mean, come on, look at this. Ah. Finally, for aftermath, this is where the leaf cutter ant does offer a little relief. Although very painful at first, the wounds end up feeling like super deep paper cuts and almost immediately subside. So just as long as you clean them out right away, you should have very little inflammation or chance of infection afterward. So for that, I only give the aftermath of the leaf cutter ant a 3.5 out of 10, giving the soldier leaf cutter ant an official BSI ranking of a 6.8. All that to say, ouch, but yes, venom matters big time on this index. And without it, you just can't hang with the big dogs. I'm about to enter the sting zone with the bullet ant. Ah! I'm about to enter the bite zone with the leaf cutter ant. Ah! 
Here we are in the jungles of Costa Rica for the ultimate showdown between the two most painful ants in the world. We've got the fight of the leaf cutter ant versus the sting of the bullet ant. And I'm here to determine which of these two is the true king of pain. Before we start our face-off, we have to track down our contenders. First up are the leaf cutters, which are famous for slicing up plants and marching the pieces back to their nest. These worker ants carrying the leaves are incredibly strong, capable of lifting 20 times their own weight. They harvest these parts to use as compost that grows a fungus to feed the entire colony, including their defenders called soldier ants. Leaf cutter soldiers have no stinger at all, but instead use their massively oversized jaws like butcher knives to slice through anything standing in their way, including human flesh. I have personally witnessed a single soldier saw through skin to the bone in just a matter of seconds, and that is why it will be our first contender. To find them, all we have to do is follow this trail of ants back to their underground lair. Here we go. This is it. This is the entry point to the nest. You can see the leaves are disappearing here. Up in this clearing, there's going to be other entry points. That's where the soldiers are going to be waiting to ambush. Oh yeah, see multiple entry points. All right, we want to be very gentle with our steps around these openings because as soon as we disturb this area with vibrations, these ants are going to swarm us. These colonies can span 100 feet in diameter underground. So that's pretty much all of the visible area here in this clearing. There are millions of ants below our feet right now, including those dominant soldier ants. These are the biggest and baddest ants that you could imagine. All right, guys, get ready. So this is the same as knocking on the door. And trust me, we are not welcome. Oh, here they come right here. Look at that. Giant soldiers. If you don't pay attention, they will be all over your body. We're here to collect five soldier ants for the bite test. All right, there's one. Okay, we got one. We are getting absolutely swarmed by these ants. Look at them covering my boots. All right, this. They're covering I know you guys, you guys watch yourself. Stand back a little bit. They come out of the hole with their mandibles open, ready for pain. All right, I got three. They're all over your boots. Oh, ah, oh gosh, he's already got me. Four. Oh, ah, one just got in my back. They're already up my legs. Ah, oh, God, he got me. Oh, okay, how many do we have? We got five. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Come on. Ah, I got one on my back. Ah, oh, I sliced my back. All right, seriously. Oh, you got them all over. You guys got them all over your boots. Oh, Matt, one just crawled in your pocket. One just crawled in your pocket. Ah. Oh, Mark's on your shoulder. Ah, he's biting me. Look at that. Yeah, yes, they can definitely bite through your clothes. Huh. There is no negotiating with these ants. They only mean to seek and destroy. It's time for round one. Let's go to the bite table and get this action started. All right, welcome to the bite table. Here we have in our jar five soldier leaf cutter ants and oh boy, are they angry. Let's get a closer look at the business end of one of these soldiers. Man, these ants just make you nervous. They are so incredibly strong. Let's take a closer look. Andrew, you got a good shot? It's like having a pair of garden shears on your face. They are razor sharp. We're going to attempt to recreate a swarm of ants on the top of my hand and then see if I can withstand their bites for 60 seconds. Please do not attempt to recreate what you're about to see. Matt, let's put 60 seconds on the clock. 60 seconds. All right, here we go. I'm Mark Vins, and I'm about to enter the bite zone with the leaf cutter ant. Here we go. On three. One, two, three. Ah, yeah, that one's got me. Ah. All right, they're all in. Start the clock. 60 seconds starting. Ah. Ah. Oh, they're breaking the skin. Ah. Man, that hurts. Ah! 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 Oh! Ah! Oh, that thrills. Ah, oh, what's the time? What's the time? Ah, they're just annihilating my skin, just popping holes. Ah! Oh! Oh, it's like razor pinches. Ah! 
They're just like slicing my, through my skin like butter. Oh, give me a countdown. It's gotta be close. All right, it's done. Nine, eight, seven, ah! six, five. Don't move your hands. Three, two, one. Ah, get them off, get them off, get them off. Ah, they won't come off. Ah, ah they just bite harder. Oh, get off me. Ah, 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 Oh, ah, so many bites. That was so much more intense than I thought. I thought there was no possible way that a leaf cutter ant bite could even come close to comparing, but I don't know. Bullet ant stings up next, but that's the most uncomfortable thing I have ever experienced. The sheer willpower to just like look away and let that happen. I hope you guys got good shots because I never want to go through that ever again. All right, so let these ants go and get back on the hunt. Even with fresh wounds on my hand, there was no time for a break. My turn to face the sting of the bullet ant had arrived. Bullet ants are one of the largest ants in the world and are legendary for having the most painful sting in the insect kingdom, rating above cow killers, tarantula hawks, and the infamous murder hornet. It has also earned itself the nickname the 24-hour ant because the excruciating pain from a single sting can last an entire day. Let's let these ants back off into their nest. There you go. Round one of the most painful ant showdown is in the books. I've got some battle wounds to show for it. Now it's time for round two, the sting of the bullet ant. I've got some good news and bad news. The bad news is, for me, this is definitely gonna happen. The good news is, we don't have to go very far to find our bullet ant. Literally on top of the leaf cutter ant colony, there is a bullet ant nest right here at this tree. I have never seen this before. All I have to do, give a little knock on the door, check this out. Oh, here they come. Can you get your microphone close? Hear them making their battle cry. Oh, they're angry. We just need one ant. Here we go. Oh, we got two on there. Oh, let's see if we can get one to climb off in it. All right, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, geez, that was close. All right, we've got an ant, and just like that, we are ready for round two. The time has come for the second contender. Those leaf cutter ants meant business, but those are flesh wounds. This is venom. Let's get the bullet ant out of the jar so we can get a closer look at exactly what we're dealing with here. All right, I'm just gonna let it crawl onto the table. Got it. Oh man, my heart is definitely racing a million miles a second right now. These ants are not to be taken lightly. Some ants just bite, but some ants sting. And this is the king of sting. Oh, ah, did you see that? Jumped right off the forceps. Let me grab it again. Be good, be good. Okay, got a better grip that time. Oh, oh man, okay. He looks angry. It's very angry. The Panera toxin in this ant stinger is ranked number one on Dr. Schmidt's sting index. And I'm not just gonna take one sting today. I'm about to take it on for 60 seconds. Oh man, this is gonna be, this is gonna be painful. Please do not attempt to try this at home. 60 seconds on the clock. Here we go, camera's rolling, camera's rolling, camera's rolling. I'm Mark Vins, and I'm about to enter the sting zone for 60 seconds with the bullet ant. On three, one, two, Three. Ah! Oh, oh, you see the stinger going in? Oh, I got that shot. Oh. Ah! Oh. Oh. Oh, that hurts. Oh, the stinger's still in me. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Ah! Mark, we gotta stop the clock every time you take it. All right. Oh, man, that just, it really burns. You have to hold it on there for oh. a whole minute. Oh. Oh, yeah. You can see the stinger going in the skin. You see that? Oh man, and he's just like working it in. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. 30 seconds. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Oh, the stinger's in there. He's just pumping me full of venom. Mark, you okay? Ah. Ah, no. Ah, it's hot. Ah. 
Ah! Oh yeah, you see the stinger going in and out? Ah, it's getting me again. Ah! What's the time? What's the time? What's the time? Ah! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, time. Oh! Oh, I'm bleeding. Where the stinger is in, you guys see that? Oh! Oh! Dude, I'm telling you what, that is searing pain. My arm is on fire right now. Ugh. Ugh. Describe the pain. It's uh, hot. It's hot, it's pulsating, it's electric. My skin is just like rippling with pain. You can see I, it drew blood. The stinger was in the skin just pumping me full of venom. Do you see it pull out there at the end? That was insane. They say it's like being shot by a bullet. This pain is rumored to last for like 24 hours. The sting is getting worse by the second. So which one's Gosh. worse? The acute pain of those leaf cutter amp jaws really hurt. This is different though. This is getting worse. Like you could see the redness is starting to really flare up. Like look at all the capillaries dilating there. Wow. In terms of the showdown, I don't know. What do you guys think? What did you think was worse? Just based on your pain reaction and the bites, I think leaf cutter ant. I mean, this was no walk in the park. This did not feel good for a second, but those leaf cutter ants, that is something I never, ever want to go through ever again if I can help it. All right, guys, it's getting dark. Let's release the ant and head back to camp. As we made our way back to the nest to release the bullet ant, the swelling and searing pain increased dramatically. And I was starting to think that I had declared the winner of this ant vs. ant face-off far too soon. All night long, my arm was riddled in bone-crushing pain, and it took everything I had to hold back from screaming out in agony. I maybe got like two hours of sleep last night, guys. This bullet ant sting just kept me up all night long. For what it's worth, I feel my experience has proved the rumors true. The pain became much more intense before getting any better. And the visual swelling and itching alone were shocking. It took multiple days for all of my symptoms to subside. And if it were up to me, I'd rename this species the 48-hour ant. So I had to do the right thing and return to the table. Well, I for one am never too proud to admit when I am wrong. And in terms of yesterday's verdict as to which was worse, I was wrong. Look at my arm, guys. I am in so much pain right now. And look at this. The redness extends all the way from my wrist to my, almost my elbow. It truly feels like a broken bone. Wait, wait, Mark. So are you, are you changing the winner from yesterday? <sighs> no question. No question. I have never felt pain like this from a sting. This is the worst thing I have ever experienced in my life. The bullet ant is the true king of pain of this rainforest. All right, last night, something completely unexpected happened. Right now, we're in Costa Rica filming the bullet ant sting versus the leaf cutter ant bite showdown, which by the way, ouch, it hasn't even been 24 hours since I endured the carnage that was 60 seconds of being stung by a bullet ant. I mean, I got annihilated. I am still in excruciating pain right now, but here at our lodge, we saw something that we didn't even think existed. Let me ask you a question. What is worse than a bullet ant with one of the most painful stings in the world? The answer, a bullet ant that can fly. That's right, bullet ants have wings. Mark, come here. What is it? Dude, there's a bug on the wall here. It looks like a bullet ant, but it, light? it has wings on it. Can you shine your light like right on it? What? Dude, that is a bullet ant with wings. It has wings. No way. Let me get a net. Let's see if I can. Got it. Got it. There it is. Yeah, it's in the net. Oh, it's getting away. It's getting away. It's getting away. Ah! Look out, look out, look out, look out, look out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, hang on. Holy cow. No way. Did you know they could fly? I didn't know they could have wings at all. Let's get a closer look at it. Ah. 
In all of our adventures into the rainforest, we have never seen anything like this. The Brave Wilderness Channel has a long and painful history with the bullet ant, because these ants possess one of the most painful stings on the entire planet. And that's not just of all ants, of all insects. From a single jab to a full minute of being pumped with their legendary venom, we've experienced firsthand just how excruciating their sting can be. However, these insects won't sting unless provoked, and we've learned that from sticking our hand into a box full of them. As it turns out, they only sting to protect themselves and their underground colony from danger. But until this particular adventure, we had no idea that bullet ants could take to the sky. But now let's get to the question that I know you're all wondering. Sure, bullet ants have wings, but can they sting? Can a winged bullet ant sting with the power and might of the bullet ant that we all know so well? Well, that's what we're here today to find out. I am prepared to take yet another sting test to see if the winged bullet ant is something that we all need to be concerned of. But before we do that, let's take a side-by-side -side comparison of both of these ants. Colorations, proportions, they look nearly identical. I mean, maybe, and just maybe, the winged bullet ant is a little bit bigger. But outside of that, the only major difference that I can see is just behind the head. On the wingless bullet ant, you've got a couple of spikes, a couple of nodules, right behind the head on that middle part. On the wing bullet ant, you have more of a hunch or a hump. I'm guessing that's where all the wing mechanics are contained that enable this ant to fly. But before we get to the sting, let's discuss why ants have wings in the first place. In order for ants to start a new colony, like bees, they have to swarm. This occurs when colonies start to produce offspring that have wings which of course can be either male or female, with the females being future queens. When a future queen flies away from the colony, she's in search of a winged male from another, and hope that they can join forces in starting the next generation of bullet ants. After they mate, the male unfortunately dies, while the female sheds her wings and searches on the ground for a good spot to start her new brood. Once she starts her nest, her stinger actually turns into an oviposter, which she uses to lay eggs. She then exclusively produces female worker ants until the colony grows large enough to need to expand again. It's these workers who are tasked with the digging of tunnels, caring for young, and defending the colony with their legendary sting. All this to say, it's only the female ants that have stingers. With that being said, I have about a 50-50 chance of actually taking another sting in this video. It's time to get down to business. It's time to find out if this flying bullet ant can sting. Here we go. Let's see if we can grab hold without it flying away. I know I say this all the time with ants, but it's unbelievable how strong they are. Oh, no, 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 fly, don't fly, don't fly. Oh, no. Angry. This bullet ant does not want to be in these forceps. Okay, we got a good hold. All right, here we go. Oh, it's afraid we're gonna lose our flying bullet ant. They have wings for a reason. Got that shot? Got it. All right, here we go. I'm Mark Vins, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with a flying bullet ant. On three, one, two, three. I can't feel it. Ah, mmm, there's something in my, oh yeah, stinger's in, stinger's in, yep. Yep, it's a queen. Mm. Mm. Oh, do you see the stinger in there? Definitely a queen. Got a young queen. Definitely not a male. What's that feeling? Ah, it burns. All right, all right, all right. <sighs> Definitely not doing it for 60 seconds again. Yeah. Whoo, man. Whew. All right, Mark? Yeah. Huh. I tell you what, that burns. But not as bad, oddly enough. Definitely not as bad as yesterday. Uh, uh. Let me put her back in the container. Thank you, thank you. Oh, man. Definitely a female, for sure. You could see there's already raised. I could feel, I could feel the burning. There's already some raised, but not as bad. There's some, there's some marks there, but 
gonna have to give it a little bit to see if the venom really kicks in. I mean, clearly that's what the bullet ant looked like from yesterday. That is uh, just over 24 hours. You can see just how swollen my arm is from yesterday and it's hot and tight. It's almost like swelling up like a hot dog about to explode. But yeah, you can see right there, you see that? We definitely have some sting marks, but a much, much more mild venom, like significantly less painful. I would recommend doing it. Don't get me wrong, this isn't good. It's, it's not enjoyable, but it is certainly not as painful as the bullet ant we all know. So I have to wonder, why would the flying bullet ant sting be less potent than that of a wingless bullet ant? And if I had to guess, it's because this is a young queen. They're both females, but this young queen is destined to eventually lay eggs, meaning that stinger is meant to actually evolve into a device to reproduce and create the next bullet ants, where this bullet ant is only meant to defend. That means that stinger needs to inflict as much pain as possible. Deep in the mountains of Chile, there is an insect so rare and so elusive that its sting is completely undocumented by science. And that sting belongs to the panda ant. And today, we're going to try to make history by being the first to find this panda ant, capture it on video, and then of course I will take on the sting of the panda ant in a world's first. This is gonna be like looking for a fuzzy needle in a giant wilderness haystack. It's time to get searching. Now this won't be your average hike. Only a few panda ants have been found in the wild. So we're going to have to search this entire mountain range to even have a chance at finding them. Okay, this looks promising. This open area has a lot of sandy, loose material, which is perfect for the panda ant because it likes to make burrows. And it also allows us to cover a lot of ground fast. Covering ground, that is the name of the game when you're looking for very, very small creatures. The more ground your eyes can scan, the more likely it is you'll find what you're looking for. We're hearing water down below. In the desert, water is life. Let's try our luck in a different environment. Found the water. Ah, it looks so good. If you were ever stuck out here in the desert, this water would be absolutely life-saving and perfectly fine to drink running this fast. A little bouldering. Just seeing water is a boost of energy. Ah, oh, I feel so good. Oh. Oh. It's good that we're seeing these flowers. Panda ants feed on a diet predominantly of nectar. So these flowers, good indication we have a food source. There's definitely more life down by this river. Finally feels like we're starting to close in on the panda ant. Seeing these smaller wasps, that makes me feel really positive. I think the trail is heating up. I'm starting to see yellow jackets. Good sign for us right now. This is the insect watering hole. But well, look at that one. See that one that's chasing the others off? It's got like a panda-like abdomen. You seeing this? Abdomen, you seeing this? The male panda ants have wings. Let's keep moving. Have to be getting close. Oh, whoa, look at all these. Just got to this trail and there are all these burrows. I can't say whether or not these are definitively panda ant burrows, but they're the right size and right shape and in the right place. Finally feels like we're starting to close in on the panda ant. Panda ant right there. We got one! Holy, oh, we were literally just about to give up. It's not a big one, but that is a panda ant, baby. Let's go, yes! Oh. Got one. But our luck wouldn't end there. As we prepped our presentation, and captured the first ever video of this fuzzy little panda, something even more incredible happened. 
got another one. Hold on, hold on. Get in there, get in there. Go. They're so fast. So fast, this one's kind of small. I don't want to get stung. Not, uh, not yet, anyway. Yes, two panda ants. Holy cow. And this one really looks like a panda. Wow. Not one, but two panda ants. This is such a rare opportunity to film this world famous creature. There is almost no footage of this species. In fact, this is likely the first 4K footage the world has seen of the panda ant, the world's smallest panda. The first thing I noticed about these creatures were their size. They are teeny tiny. Look at the little capsules that we had to bring with us for this presentation. But not only are they small, they are fast. I cannot believe we actually were able to get them into the containers. It's not likely that we're gonna be able to get very much B-roll of them walking around. All it would take is a small little hole or crack in the ground and they are poof, gone. They got their name the panda ant because of that black and white fuzzy exoskeleton, which of course I keep calling them an ant, but they are not an ant at all. They are a species of wasp and the wingless ones are actually females. The males of this species have wings, but the females do not possess wings. But what they do possess is the largest stinger to body size ratio of any insect in the world. They're related to the cow killer found in the Southern United States, another species famous for its massive stinger and painful sting. Both have fuzzy exoskeletons and are classified as velvet ants. However, unlike the cow killer, the effects of the panda ant venom are completely unknown. And with that, it's time to take a closer look at their defense mechanisms. They don't just look like pandas for our amusement. They've developed this coloration to ward off predators to say, hey, I pack a punch. I have a lot of defenses and you will regret it. Now let's talk about another defense mechanism. Let's bring the microphone in there real close. You hear that? That's called stridulation, which is a high frequency warning pitch that these insects are able to emit. And we're not just boosting the sound. This insect's actually noisy. I can hear it. Look at that. Swinging the abdomen already. Might get to see an appearance of that. Oh, that stinger's coming out. Compared to body size, that is a super long stinger. It will have no problem popping a stinger through my skin. Now, remember when I said earlier, this is probably the first 4K footage of a panda ant. Let me also tell you, this is about to be the first ever documented sting of this species. No one has taken the sting of the panda ant. Going into the sting zone with the panda ant is truly the great unknown. I have no idea what kind of reaction I'm going to have. So we brought a couple of emergency remedies. Of course, our satellite phone. If I go into any kind of anaphylactic shock, we will use this for emergency distress calls. In addition to that, I always bring a first aid trauma kit. And in this trauma kit, I always have an EpiPen. That's pretty much our only remedies if this sting gets really bad. For the first time ever, it's time to go flesh the stinger with the panda ant. That stinger is flying. That is a very big stinger. I would say the stinger is the entire length of the lower abdomen. All right, it is time. I'm Mark Vins, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the panda ant. Here we go to the great unknown of the world of stings. One, two, three. Ah. Yep, stinger's in, stinger's in. Ah. Ah. Oh, I dropped her. Where'd she go? Oh, it's here. Definitely stung me. Uh, Maybe over the wall? Yeah, let me see. Uh, they're so fast. And they blend in perfectly where she can't have gotten far. Let me look around. Here, I'm gonna look over here. All right, yeah, yeah, keep looking, keep looking. Oh no! Oh! Uh, well. Unfortunately, I dropped the ant. She definitely gave me a sting before hightailing it out of here. We've got two distinct sting marks. 
I would say it's probably similar to that of a hornet, but luckily for us, we have one more ant. In fact, this is the one that looks most like a panda. So it's time to see if the world's smallest panda packs a potent punch. Gotta get a good grip. I know it looks easy, but it is so hard to get a good grip on these tiny little panda ants. There we go. Okay, stinger's going. One, two, three. Ah! Ooh, yeah, okay. Definitely took a really good sting and a bite. See this panda's jaws locked into me? Ah, I think this panda ant's bite is worse than its sting. Ah, definitely getting little micro stings. This tiny panda ant just might not be big enough to deliver a full punch. Okay. Well, you can see here, I got two really good stings from the ant that got away. And then I probably have, I don't know, like a dozen little micro stings. I left it there for a while, but there, were, there was one or two really good ones. Oh my God, there it is. Got it. We just found the first panda ant. Wow, I cannot believe it. What am I supposed to do with you? You ran away and now you're back. Should we try to get like another wallop? All right, well, gonna go for another sting. I don't know if I got a full one that first time around. On three, one, two, three. Ah, yep, got me. Ah, it's biting me. Ah, and stinging me. Got a good one there. Ah. Okay, yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. Really not a remarkable sting, even though we're getting a lot of redness and little micro swelling around those sting sites. This might have been the world's cutest sting. The sting of the tiny panda ant is no match for its growl. All right, let's let this little panda back into the wild. While the pain was manageable right after the sting, the secondary reaction roared back the next day, where I had redness, swelling, and a relentless itch. So while the panda ant might be cute, the sting of this tiny insect should definitely be avoided. Holy crap, are you guys rolling? Look at this, that is a calculator. We literally were out here filming me getting stung by a giant desert hairy scorpion, and we were taking a break, and I came over to this pasture, and I saw this calculator scurrying around. Oh, oh, they're fast. They're super fast. Ah. Got it. Woo! All right, I think it's my turn to go arm to stinger with one of the most painful stinging insects on the planet, the cow killer of Arizona. Let's go, guys. The cow killer is what the velvet ant is called in the United States because they are often found in cow pastures and their sting is said to be so horrible that it's painful enough to kill a cow. We don't even have to set up the sting table. It's already set up. Luckily, the sting of that giant desert hairy scorpion wasn't that bad. Oh, oh my God, the venom spray, did you see that? Oh. So I'm gonna be able to hopefully endure one more before we head home. This is the insect responsible for our most famous viral video ever with over 83 million views. But I haven't yet taken the sting from this one. Okay, let me get back here. You all right? And not only am I going to attempt this sting test, but I will also be putting the most famous sting in Brave Wilderness history on our brand new and improved Bite Sting Index, where I will rank this sting on intimidation, pain, and aftermath, ranking each from one to 10, and then taking the average score to see where the cow killer falls on the official Brave Wilderness BSI. So the first impressions of this cow killer, which is a velvet ant, is that it looks a lot different than the cow killer that stung coyote years ago. It has the exact same patterning and fur, but instead of a red abdomen, it has almost like a burnt orange coloration. And that's the cool thing about velvet ants. They come in a variety of shapes, patterns, and colors. And velvet ant species can be found all over the Americas. But I happen to think the ones here in the Southwestern United States are some of the coolest looking of all the species. It's called a velvet ant, but it's not a species of ant at all. In fact, it is a wingless wasp. The males of this species actually have wings and fly around, but they don't have stingers. Only the female velvet ants have stingers. So we know because this one doesn't have wings, 
it's definitely gonna be able to give me a sting. Now, I have been stung by another species of velvet ant before, the panda ant, where I was the first person to ever document being stung by this species down in Chile. Ah! Ooh, yeah, okay. Definitely took a really good sting and a bite. Ah! I saw a lot of the comments. People were asking, hey, how does that stack up to the velvet ant in Arizona? And I didn't, I didn't know because I've never been stung by one. Well, I'm about to find out, and so are all of you. Oh man, the reality of this just set in. I have the sting kill out. I will treat this sting with the sting kill as well. This is not a paid ad. This is just something I'm curious about. Of course, I've got an EpiPen just in case I have any kind of crazy allergic reactions. This is a first aid device that will help me get to emergency medical attention should I need it. Hopefully this is just a lot of pain and we don't have to go down that route. And with that, let's get a look at the stinger of this insect. So this is always the tricky part, getting a grip. And they're called the indestructible insect because their exoskeleton, their body is so strong. It is way stronger than most insects. So I'm not gonna be able to crush it or hurt it whatsoever. Oh, you guys hear that? I already heard something that I was curious about. These insects have the ability to actually emit a squeak that's called stridulation. It's a warning distress signal, an alarm siren, if you will. And this one, I just heard it. Hear that? You guys hear it, get your, get your cameras close. You'll, you'll be able to hear it. Not quite as noisy as the panda ant, but you can definitely hear it. But don't worry, I'm not hurting this insect at all. Now the stinger, look at how long it is. Oh my gosh, look at that stinger. The stinger of the cow killer is one of the longest stingers of all insects. In fact, to the body size ratio, it has the longest stinger of any stinging insect on the planet. Wow. And because this one is bigger, that stinger is much larger than the panda ant I was stung by in Chile. Wow, that stinger is seriously large. Okay, I think it is time to test out the sting of this fuzzy little insect. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Okay, first thing I wanna do is I want to attempt to let the cow killer sting me on its own. In order to do that, we're gonna put it back in the container and I'm going to just place it right on the usual spot. On three. One, two, three. Boy, I can feel the fuzz. Oh, my abdomen's like right against my skin. This is nerve wracking. I can see the cow killers trying to get out of the glass. I thought, not gonna sting on its own. Here we go, I'm gonna flip it over. Woo, all right, hang on. That gets your nerves going. Whew. Okay, all right. So, you don't really need to worry about taking a sting from this insect unless you really antagonize it by trying to grab it or hold it with a pair of forceps and let it sting you that way, which is what I'm about to do next because I'm very curious how it stacks up to the velvet ants of South America. Mm. Moment setting in that I'm actually gonna take a sting. All right, let's get a good grip. Just gonna get it right on the back there. There we go. Okay, it's getting warm. She's getting fired up. You can see where I had the glass placed earlier to prove that she wasn't gonna sting me on her own, but she's definitely gonna sting me now. That stinger is firing. You guys got your shot? I'm gonna do it right in the center of that sting zone. All right. I'm Mark Vins, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the Velvet Ant, the cow killer of the Southwest. On three, one, two, three. Ah, she's biting me. Ah, ah, I 
get that stinger. Oh yeah, oh, wow, oh. Whoa, way, oh. Ah, uh, yeah, stinger's in. Uh, wow! Yeah, that is way worse than the panda ant. Mm, way worse. Mm. What's it feel like, Mark? Oh, it burns. It really burns. Here, I'm gonna put her back. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, that burns. That definitely burns. She nailed me right there. See that? See that red spot? Oh man, that is gonna, that is gonna swell. That is searing pain. Way worse than the panda ant. Like times 10, times 10 worse. That is a for real sting. Holy moly. Whew, yeah, that's one of the better ones I've taken. It is, um, oh, hang on. Wow, I got hit three times. One, two, three, the worst one being right there in the middle. And I felt that stinger go all the way in. I mean, probably a, like at least a quarter inch underneath the skin. You can see that there's a little bit of a, a blood spot, a little bit of redness there from like some hemorrhaging underneath the skin. But you can really see the blotchiness starting to go. I can already tell you right now, the swelling from this tomorrow is going to be so much worse than it is right now. But right now I'm feeling the effects of the venom, the pain. And it is time for me, I think, to get a little bit of sting kill on this sting. Let's go. Hopefully help cool down the burn I'm feeling on my skin. Oh yeah, that's like a dull pain. Cool relief though. Yeah. This sting is way more powerful than the panda ant. I don't know if it's a size thing or if it's just generally the Southwest velvet ants, the cow killers are just that much more painful, but that was a wallop. I'm glad to have a little something to help put out the burn from that pain. I can tell you right now though, tomorrow is gonna to be the worst day of this. We're gonna to have to monitor this thing for the next 24 to 48 hours. I am by no means out of the woods. And now it's time to break down this sting and give the cow killer its official ranking on the bite sting index. For intimidation, I give the cow killer a 7.5 out of 10. Even though they are fuzzy and colorful, once you see that stinger all the way out, all bets are off and you know it means business. As for pain, I was super shocked by this one because I thought it would be at least similar to the panda ant. I was definitely wrong. It was many times worse. So I give it an eight out of 10. Lastly, the aftermath. The swelling and the pain spiked big time in the hours following the sting and well into the next day. While it is by no means a bullet ant, it definitely hurts for a good long while. And I would say the aftermath is much worse than the sting itself, giving it an 8.5 out of 10. That total score gives the cow killer an official BSI rating of an eight. That is the highest ranking so far and a lot of bang pow for such a tiny creature. What's going on everybody? I'm heading off into the rainforest of Costa Rica to find another creature to bite or sting me to add to the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. Now normally I tell you exactly what it is I'm looking for or what I found, but this time it, to me at least, it's a total mystery. There's so many animals, so much biodiversity in Costa Rica who knows what we're gonna find. I'm super excited to find something to add to the sting index. Let's go. Whatever we do find, if I can't identify it correctly, we will head back up to self-service. I'll do a little bit of recon and we will make sure that not only is this worthy of the bite sting index, but that it's not gonna send me straight to the hospital because that's not the intent. Okay, enough talking, more searching. We gotta find something. What kind of stuff do you look for, Mark? I'm just looking for anything that catches my eye. Like one of the, uh, real tactics to looking for animals is to trust your instincts. If you feel like something looks out of place, it is out of place. If you feel like you see movement and you can't identify exactly what it is, you did see movement and you need to go toward that signal. Now, I don't know if we're looking for something that's flying. I don't know if it's crawling. I don't know if it's on a tree. I don't know if it's like coming out of the ground. I literally am looking for anything and everything that could be a good fit for this video. But it's very early morning. Things are just starting to come alive. You can start to hear the rainforest starting to wake up. You can hear the sounds. Um, and I have a good feeling, you know, within the next 30 minutes to an hour, we're gonna find something pretty sweet. Got a leaf cutter ant trail. Not much action though, geez. Oh, look at that, soldier leaf cutter ant. No other ones though, looks lost. Ah, ah it's got me. 
Uh, let me show you guys this real quick. Ah, uh, the soldier leaf cutter ant. Oh, they can bite really hard. Oh, I didn't think it was gonna get me that fast. Ah, get off, buddy. Get off. Ah, they will not let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get off me! Ah, oh, I can't get it off! I can't get it off! He's stuck! He's like, like a bear trap! Look at that! There's only one soldier out today. I thought maybe he was lost or sleepy, but he is wide awake! Wow! Oh, ah, I just keep twisting the knife! Oh, give me a stick! Give me a stick! Get out of there! <laughs> Good morning to you too, but I've already ranked those. Yeah. Oh, what was that? See, so he's gonna. Saw, I saw something out of the corner of my eye. No, nothing. All right, keep him. Let's go. This is really putting my skills to the test. I almost never go out anymore without a specific target in mind. But I just know this rainforest, we've got to find something. What's this ant? What's that? I've never seen an ant like that. Oh, he's got jaws. Whoa, sure does. Okay, we got to get a close look at this. Okay, I don't need the net. Look at that. <gasps> he's got like, it's like a hammerhead ant. You guys see that? I, just, I, I mean, it looks like it bites, but I don't know if it stings. I've never seen an ant like this. Okay. Let's see if we'll just crawl up. This is a good. Got it. Whoa. Whoa, what is this? Whoa. Guys, get in here tighter with the camera. Can you get a shot of those mandibles? Yeah, those are huge. Whoa. It looks a lot like a bulldog ant, a little bit smaller, but like same body shape. I wonder if it stings. All right. Let me, uh, let me try something quick. Okay. I had a feeling I might need these. Let's see if we can spot a stinger. If we spot a stinger, this might be our, this might be our creature for this video. Well, look at that. Oh yeah, I see a stinger flying. Oh yeah, definitely stinging away. Like its mandibles go all the way out 90 degrees. Looks like a ham, it's like a hammerhead ant. That is crazy. Man, I think we might've hit the jackpot with this guys. Oh, you hear that? That thing just snapped. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get cell signal. I want to find out what this is. Ah, guys, I don't have service. We're going to take this ant with us, mark this location. We're going to head back up with our, I'm calling it the hammerhead ant for now, to see exactly what it is that we just discovered. Let's go. Ah, there we go. Woo! All right, finally got some service. Let's see what we got. Guys. What is it, Mark? I think we got a good one. You guys will take a guess at what this ant is named. It's not a hammerhead ant, just to give you a hint. What do you think? The vice grip ant. That's pretty close, actually. What do you think, Asa? Anything? Uh, the jaw cutter? Jaw cutter, no. That's, I like that name, though. It could easily have been that. However, does this is this the ant? That's the ant, right? Right there? That looks just like it. Okay, you guys are gonna love this name. Drum roll, please. What we have found this morning is the trap jaw ant. And get this, it has the fastest bite of any animal on the planet. That's what we were hearing this morning. That clicking sound is because they are able to shut their uh, jaws at such velocity that it makes an audible clicking noise. I cannot believe I've never heard of this species before. And I'm, I'm reading here that it has the fastest appendage of any animal, let alone the jaws, the fastest appendage of any animal snapping its jaw shut at 145 miles an hour. Everything's talking about the bike though. Let me make sure it can sting. Oh, here we go. Yes, we were right. We were seeing a stinger. It can absolutely sting. In fact, here's a quick article. It says top 25 
most painful stings in the world, right there, trap jaw ant. This is a perfect candidate for today's mystery creature for the bite sting index. Let's go set up our table and get into it. All right, got our table. Got a few things in my pack that I need to get out. Okay, don't need that. Do need a couple of things though. First things first, it's a nice little, it's probably a better capsule for that ant. Got some forceps. And most important thing, first aid. Oh, can't forget the adventure fuel. Get a little drink. Oh yeah, man. Stuff really helps so much after hiking all day. All right, I need to get all important. Got the EpiPen. This is just in case we have any kind of allergic reaction. Every venom's different. Everybody reacts differently to venom, so I want that on standby. Now I want to transfer this trap jaw ant into a little bit better container so we can get really good footage of it. Okay. Come here. Oh, man, they're fast when they want to be. Hear that click? Now we can see you. You know, it's not the biggest ant ever. I mean, it's certainly not a bullet ant, but the fact that it's rated one of the top 25 stings in the world, it must have pretty potent venom. Now that I'm able to get a closer look at this ant, I can really appreciate how truly bizarre it is. What an unusual creature. It has a super flattened head, almost like a football shape. Very alien looking. Its head is so strange. Oh, and it's got like this spiked mouth part that it's sticking out like a proboscis. I wonder if that's gonna be able to make the pain of the bite worse. Whoa, super unusual. And then it has these really long antenna, almost making it look like it has an extra set of legs can easily see how this animal could be mistaken for a spider if you didn't know what you were looking at. But I'm ready to get it out of the container and get a closer look at those jaws. I mean, the fastest appendages in the world. Here we go. This is actually gonna be really hard to get a good grip on this ant. As soon as I get the forceps close, they get really flighty. Let's see if I can put it on the table, stay up. Just don't want to go through the crap. See how fast it is? Gosh, it's so fast. No, no, no. Oh, geez, its jaw snapped so fast it popped it back. Oh no, we lost it. We lost it. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. okay, let's see if I can. Look at that. Here, get a shot of that. Look at that. Okay, got it. I don't know for how long. This is very challenging to hold. This ant's exoskeleton is super tough and very slick. These forceps do not want to hold it, but look at that. Definitely see that stinger going. Look at it fishing around. Let's talk about how we're going to rank the trap jaw ant on the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. It's going to be ranked on three different factors, intimidation, pain, and aftermath. So at the end of this video, we will combine all three of those factors rated from one to 10 into a final Brave Wilderness BSI, a bite sting index for the trap jaw ant. In terms of intimidation, Ants, you know, they're, they're small, right? But they're also mighty. And for an ant with the fastest jaws, the fastest bite in the world, I am super intimidated right now. And I also know this is one of the top 25 stings in the world. Just that knowledge alone and seeing how fast those jaws can snap, where I can hear them like a pop, we're gonna get a good score right off the bat. The pain, we're gonna figure out just here in a second. As far as the aftermath goes, we're gonna monitor the bite and the sting for the next two days to see how bad the swelling, the itching, and all those damage effects are. Starting to get a little sweaty. The nerves are hitting. It's time to officially enter the bite and sting zone with the trap jaw ant. Here we go. One, two, three. Ah, yeah, ah, oh, the stinger's in. You see that sting? Ah, oh yeah, that burns. Yeah, mm, that stinger's stuck in there. Oh yeah, okay, okay. I didn't take a good bite. I didn't take a good bite yet. Hang on, let's just, just give him. Okay, yeah, ah, yeah, that, okay, yeah. Okay, got a bite. All right, I know what it feels like now. Okay, hang on. 
Hang on. You okay, Mark? This building. That burns really bad. So these stings have three distinct phases. One, when you first get hit, there's like an instant searing. Definitely feel the stinger go in and the immediate burn. But then the burning starts to build. That's really phase two. And that's, get, that's where it gets a little scary because you don't know how high that flame is gonna rise. And then you see the redness and the swelling. You can even see the swelling that's starting to happen here in my wrist. And definitely the swelling around the sting. It looks like I got hit a couple of small stings. It was tucked up underneath. It hit me once up here, maybe once right there, but you can see where it did the most damage right in the center of that sting. You can see there's a little bit of blood coming to the surface. I definitely took a good pop from the stinger. I intentionally took another bite at the end so I could test the bite and I think we're ready. It's time to put the trap jaw ant on the bite sting index. Here we go. On intimidation, the trap jaw ant is super bizarre, but is quite small. That said, those snapping jaws do look capable of slicing through skin, and the popping sound it can make is very alarming. Also, I know firsthand just how bad an ant bite can be. It's also worth mentioning that helping it score is knowing that this is ranked as a top 25 sting in the world, which definitely put me on edge. All things considered, I give it a five out of 10 on intimidation. For pain, the sting proved to be worse than the bite. This ant sting burned immediately, injecting my forearm with searing heat. At first, it was a similar feeling to the bullet ant, but not nearly as painful. As for the bite, it was just a very sharp pinch. In total, for pain, I give it a 6.5 out of 10. The aftermath of the trap jaw ant was painful, but manageable, leaving behind only mild swelling and redness two days later, and falling far short of the bone crushing pain of the bullet ant. So for that, I only give it a 4.5 out of 10. All things combined, this ant ranks at a 5.3 on the Brave Wilderness BSI. Because its snap turns out to be much louder than its bite. In this video, I am going to be stung by a bullet ant, one of the most painful stings on earth, to reveal the truth about the bullet ant challenge. Let's go. All right, guys. So in this video, we are going to attempt to show you a sting adventure uncut as few cuts as possible because there's been a lot of comments over the years that our use of cinematic music and macro shots and all the things that we do to make our videos more entertaining hide the truth about the sting videos that have made brave wilderness famous so once and for all we're making this video to show you exactly how we do it and exactly what's up there's another reason we are making this video and that's because we are reinventing the sting index. We're calling it the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index because over the years, having been stung by many creatures from jellyfish to man of war to fireworms to all sorts of wasps and ants around the globe, it has become apparent to us that there's a lot of factors not included in the original sting pain index. Um, not to mention, it's kind of confusing. So let me break down how the new Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index is going to work. First of all, you know, the late great Justin Schmidt created his Sting Index rating out of four, ranking them from one to four, one being the least painful, four being the most painful. I think if Justin uh, had to do it all over again today, he likely would have made it out of 10. I don't think he had any idea how famous his Sting Index was going to become, but um, that's not his fault. So in our new bite sting index, we're gonna rate all of our factors out of 10 and then give an ultimate ranking out of 10. So it's a lot easier to understand. The other thing that we are going to do is we are going to identify some of the missing factors from that original sting index. Um, two of them that are new would be intimidation factor and aftermath. And that's because after all the stings that we have gone through, these things really matter. How you feel about getting stung by an animal before you're actually stung changes the way the sting feels. Also, the aftermath is in a lot of cases the worst part of the sting and that's not really identified um, on the sting index currently. It's just about the sting itself. So uh, I will get more into the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index when we're back at the table because we have just arrived right there at 
the bullet ant nest. Uh, I have been to this uh, location in Costa Rica many times in my career. I know where all the bullet ants nests are located on this trail, and this is a good one. So we figured, yeah, let's get a bullet ant from this nest. And this is, uh, this is the catch. So again, uncut, we're gonna have as few cuts as possible. There might be a couple cuts just for technical reasons, but we're not gonna skip ahead. We're not gonna like cut anything out. This is going to be a bullet ant sting as raw and as uncut as we can possibly create. So again, first things first, we gotta catch ourselves a bullet ant. Let me get the shot here so you can see. Is that a good angle? That's a good angle right there. Let me clear that out of the way for you. All right, so you see this tree root right here has a little opening. Underneath this opening is a bullet ant nest. Getting them to come out is easy. Catching them at first was very difficult for us, but since we've learned a lot about bullet ants, it's become pretty easy. Um, essentially just need a little container and they'll walk right in. So here's how I'm gonna get them to come out. Just a light knock on the door. They should come out right here. Anybody home? Oh, I saw one. Okay, we're uh, we're being a little shy today, so we're gonna give them a little tickle. Here we go. I hear them. Oh, there we go. See that? Got some bullet ants crawling, and we just need one. But I just want to prove to you that I didn't just come here with a single bullet ant in my pocket. Um, these are real wild bullet ants. No bullet ants inside the container. You guys can see that back there on the other cameras. But let's uh, first get a. First get a, there we go. See, that easy. Bullet ant secured, okay. Let's move on. So, you're gonna notice we've got our camera crew behind us. We've got Andrew Asa on the A and B cam. Uh, I'm using a GoPro for this perspective, but we have our bullet ant. And again, we're gonna try to use as few cuts as possible. The way we're gonna do that is uh, this shot will hopefully never stop. We'll either speed it up or we will make it a smaller picture in the corner so you can see this whole thing unobstructed. I might release just this GoPro clip on the Mark Vins channel. Um, so for those of you who just wanna see it uninterrupted and raw and rough, that's probably the best place to go. You can uh, click on the link in the description for that. But for the Brave Wilderness main upload, we might need a couple shifts in the cut because as soon as we get to the stink table and getting stung, we're gonna need a camera shot much closer than this GoPro can do. So there you have it. That is how we're going to attempt to show you and prove to you just how bad the bullet ant sting really is. And then of course, you know, we'll talk about why we're doing this again for the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. Hopefully it's obvious, but we'll get back to the table and talk a little bit more about that before the sting. All right, cue the fast forward. You guys good? All right. Uh, you know, I tend to not get nervous as much anymore before the sting until the insect is in the, the tweezers, the forceps. Until then, it's, I know I'm safe. So I'm sure those nerves will start to fire off here soon enough. This is the original location of the first bullet ant sting video that Coyote did in 2016. I filmed it, I was right there where Andrew and Ace are. And we thought this was a great spot to come back to not only because it has some history for Brave Wilderness, but because it's a good place to kick off this new bite sting index. We had to review the classics if we want to move into the future. So I'm gonna put this here. Let's see if we get a good shot out of it. Is that stable, guys? Like I said, uncut, a little table malfunction. All good, okay. That looks good right there. Okay. Uh, no, this is not the original table that we got uh, bitten stung by in the past. It's a brand new table, but this is the original spot. That bullet ant video right now has over 70 million views. Um, and you know, there's a lot of videos from the Bite Sting series uh, that Coyote has done and I have done that have well over 50 million views. But this new Bite Sting Index is sort of resetting everything 
um, as we go and we review some of the most painful bites and stings in the world uh, to re-rank them, to re-rate them. Uh, rating these stings uh, was not done the first time around. This is definitely the main reason why I'm doing this. However, I have seen other creators, other videos posted about how like, you know, Brave Wilderness, um, you know, didn't show us the real sting and it was like all movie magic and all that stuff. And I'm just like, okay, why don't we go ahead and make this unabridged version, front to back, full adventure, catch, sting, all in one video so we can silence the naysayers once and for all. Um, I know most of you don't fall into that camp. So don't take that as like, the people watching this. This is for the loud few people that have made mention of this, that we just want to prove a point that this is real. All of this has been genuine the entire time. So I got my, epi my epinephrine pen uh, because this is the one first aid kit that I will need, uh, first aid tool I will need the most should I go into any kind of anaphylactic reaction because I've been stung by a bullet ant before, like this. Um, yeah, I, I know I'm going to be fine, uh, but you never know. Things, allergies can pop up for no reason at all. So I just want to have that as a reassurance that I'm trying to be as safe as possible. And now I am going to switch perspectives to the A camera that Andrew's operating. Say hi, Andrew. Hey. Here, let's get Andrew on camera. Say hi. Hey, everyone. Asa. Hey, everyone. All right, so these guys are in charge of getting the up close shots that the GoPro can't do. Uh, we may need a couple cuts, but again, this GoPro shot will always remain on in some form, even if we have to put it as a tiny, tiny square up in the corner of the video. All right, let's talk the, uh, talking to you, sorry. Uncut, we would usually redo that, but uncut, we're gonna go right to the A camera. Let's talk about this bite sting index. Uh, I, I mentioned all the factors, but just to cover them one more time in case you've forgotten since then, uh, we're gonna rate all the bites and stings we, stings we do on three different factors, intimidation, pain, and aftermath. And then at the end of the videos, we will go back and we will recover the score on each of those and then make an average that gives the insect or arachnid its official ranking on the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index, which I'm also calling the BSI for short because it's a mouthful. Uh, guys, did I cover anything else? Are we good? We got plenty of cameras rolling. I think we're ready to go. Oh, let's get that camera rolling. Here we go, another perspective, boom, boom, boom. Uh, got my entomology forceps. Let's get the bullet ant out just for old time's sake. Let's go through all the motions here. So we've got our bullet ant. We can let it crawl out here. And uh, this one's fired up. A lot of times you'll see bullet ants out on the trail and they're usually very docile, but because I disturbed this one from its nest where I will put it back, it is gonna be a little more agitated and more sting prone. So I'm not gonna free handle this bullet ant, but I am going to try to get a good hold gently. Oh, you hear the stridulation? Oh, already firing the stinger. Okay, that's a bad hold. It's a bad hold. Come on, buddy. That's a good hold. There we go. Gentle, gentle. Okay, there we go. There is the uh, bullet ant in all its glory. Second largest species of ant in the world. Now, bullet ants are notorious for their sting. Uh, they're called a bullet ant because they say it's like getting shot by a gun. I've never been shot before, thankfully, and I can't attest to how accurate that, uh, you know, that lore is, but I could tell you that the sting of this ant is very serious and the aftermath lasts for a very long time. And that's one of the key factors of the BSI. The bite sting index is not only rating the pain, it's that aftermath. <laughs> to make sure that that's a very critical point because sometimes Stings don't seem that bad until the next day. Uh, this sting, however, is bad the whole way through. Throw the epinephrine down there. Uh, this is bad the whole way through. So uh, I have a feeling this ant, the bullet ant, is going to get a monster score. Uh, a lot of the scores that we've done already, if you'll notice I have a couple stings here and there, um, have rated in the mid sevens. Uh, I think the bullet ant, it, this could be a nine. This could be a mega score. Uh, intimidation. Ants, of course, have, you know, limited potential in the t intimidation department, but because this is the world's most famous sting, I would argue, and uh, it's called a bullet ant, I'm going to say intimidation is going to be high. Pain, already know. Big time score. Aftermath. That's the one you want to stick around for. The aftermath of this sting is truly what makes it a terrifying ordeal. So without further ado, because this is live and uncut pretty much, 
it's not live, but uncut and we're just trying to roll through it. Let's get into the sting. All right, here we go. Entering the sting zone with the bullet ant, hopefully for the very last time. On three, one. You guys got a shot? Got it. Two, three. Yep, he's got me. Got that stinger shot to prove that it's in. You got it? Got it. Come in closer if you need to. Come in closer if you need to. You see that stinger in? I see it. No doubt. Ah, yeah. Mmm. 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 <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a delay, but it's there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. Okay. All right, you're about to see some fireworks here on my arm. Yeah, that is super painful. Uh, okay, oh man, it's yeah, up. you see all this redness right here? Let's get the sweat out of there. Uh, there's the sting point right there. Uh, the bullet ant has a very unique venom feel. You know, wasps have a certain way that they feel that, that burn. The the fierce sting of the bullet ant is like electrifying. It is, it is a electrical fire. You can feel all the tingling, all my nerves under the skin right now, just ah, da, 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 going crazy. You can see my skin is already freaking out. Look at that. All those blood vessels around the sting. Look at how far it's already traveled. Uh, around the sting, already popping off. When you can see some blood, some broken blood vessel right there where the stinger went in, coming right to the surface. You getting that shot? Yeah. That is popping off, okay. I always ask, but yeah. are you okay? I am okay, Andrew, thank you for asking. That's funny, how, I'm glad you mentioned that because it's become sort of famous with my character over the years that uh, the are you okay thing, that comes from a place of just genuine concern, making sure that you know everybody's okay after these things. These are meant to be uh, educational at the end of the day. I realize they're entertaining, but we're real human beings. We're really out here. We're doing this stuff for real. And there is the real risk that sometimes we might need something like an EpiPen, or we might need to get out of here and get emergency help. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna like fight through this and we are going to officially rate the bullet ant, one of the kings of sting on the bite sting index for the very first time. Whew, here we go. On intimidation factor, this ant sting is legendary and it's widely considered to be the most painful insect sting on the planet. That combined with my painful past experiences and the fact that this is one of the largest ants on earth Oh, and I almost forgot, it has the ability to make a shrill scream as they attack. So for that, I give the bullet ant an intimidation score of an 8.6 out of 10. The pain factor of the bullet ant sting is big time. The only reason I was able to keep myself somewhat composed is that I've been stung by this ant before, so I have a little bit of experience. Last time, when I came to Costa Rica, I took a bullet ant sting for a full minute. That's right, 60 seconds of full venom shock and all. So I knew what I was getting myself into today. And I will admit, one sting is not nearly as bad as a minute's worth. But a single sting still feels like fire, electric shock, and hot coals combined that only gets worse after the initial sting. So I have to give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. The aftermath of this sting is second to none and is where this insect really scores its points on the BSI. The pain and throbbing afterward was excruciating and it lasted for at least 24 hours. Over time, the sting swelled, itched, and radiated pain, very similar to breaking a bone. And that's not an exaggeration. Because of all that, I have to give the aftermath of this insect a 9.9 .9 out of 10. Combined, this bullet ant sting earns a 9.1, placing it at the very top of the Brave Wilderness Bite Sting Index. At least that is for the time being. If you enjoyed that episode, make sure to search for the Brave Wilderness channel on YouTube so you can join me and the crew on our upcoming adventures.